I'm Kimberly Kane with your entertainment report from MidHudsonNews.com. The Oscar that Herman Mankiewicz won for writing Citizen Kane is one of 15 Oscars that have been auctioned off. It went for more than $588,000 twice what it sold for in 1999. Wow, he sold it twice. The other 14 Oscars included a Best Picture Award for How Green Was My Valley. It sold for a quarter million dollars. The entire lot went for more than three million. But these days, you're not allowed to sell your Oscar. You have to offer it back to the Academy for a buck. Wow, people are selling their Oscars? All right. CeeLo Green is writing his life story. He signed a deal with Grand Central Publishing for his autobiography. It does not yet have a title. It might be Guy with Really Short Arms that keeps changing his name, but I'm not sure. It's scheduled for release next year. Green says in a statement, enter into the supernatural, the surreal, and the extraordinary that is CeeLo Green. Do you think this is by chance? Crazy? Forget you? After reading this book, there will be no doubt that I am meant to be. Huh? CeeLo Green? <laughs> what is that? Congressman Roscoe Bartlett finds himself in, well, a hairy situation. At issue is a proposal to give tax breaks to Americans with mustaches. <laughs> That's reasonable. The American Mustache Institute claims the Maryland Republican supports the Stash Act. I can't make this stuff up. But Bartlett's staff says someone who works for the congressman forwarded a copy of the proposal to the House Ways and Means Committee, but it was done without the congressman's knowledge. Really? Bartlett isn't the letting the controversy go to his upper lip. He still sports a very long mustache. <laughs> what a great idea! A new U.S. Senate candidate in Virginia, speaking of politics, wears a tie, has a campaign website, and even launched an ad. One big difference? He has a thick coat of fur. You see, this candidate is Hank the Cat, and he has thrown his paw into the race, running to mock the political status quo. The cat's owner, Anthony Roberts, said he and his partner set up the campaign as an inside joke, but the campaign's website crashed after a recent spate of publicity. Hank's campaign posters show the Maine Coon gazing upward, wearing a tie, and the ad says Hank, a moderate, will work to make sure America stays the greatest land of all. Hank is running for the seat being vacated by retiring Senator James Webb, a Democrat. I think it's brilliant. I'm going to make my kitties run for office, too. In local entertainment news, Warwick Winter Blues Fest is going on on Saturday. Come down to Railroad Avenue in downtown Warwick for this cozy blues fest. It'll run from 1 p.m. to 7 p.m. with nonstop live music and a charity chili cook-off. That's your latest entertainment report for a new update daily. Log on to MidHudsonNews.com. I'm Kimberly Kay.